Rumor has it you want some DeFi gains? So Camino Finance uses DeFi protocols such as Orca and Radium, but it automates everything. Now, as covered in the previous video, we still have smart contract risk and we still have impairment loss risk. However, this is what I think is probably the safest thing in a hands-off way. Of course, nothing is financial advice. It's just an educational tutorial. Okay, so here we are, Camino Finance. This is their Twitter. 6,555 followers at the time of making this recording. This is the app here, and these are all the market making vaults. So basically, we've got all these different vaults that we can just put money into. And with all of these vaults, we can then earn an expected reward. As I've covered before, there is impairment loss risk. Our goal is to earn more rewards than either just straight up staking, such as staking with validator.com, which I still do with most of my portfolio. And also we want to have more rewards than any potential impairment loss, but we don't know what the impairment loss is going to be. So we're just going to make an educated guess. Let's jump into our phantom wallet and in my tutorial, account. I've got some USD coin here. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to go and put it into my DeFi wallet because I like to keep everything separate and I suggest you do so as well. Send that in there. That'll be there in a moment. Jump into DeFi and we've got some USD coin and some Solana. We can go and jump into some things. First though, I've imported a private key from an older tutorial wallet. Let's connect this wallet and let's have a look at some of the liquidity pools that I'm already in. Connect here and we're connected. Let's jump to my portfolio. Okay, so I've got no current positions. My rewards, there's no rewards there. And the transaction history shows that I've withdrawn all of the crypto in this pool. The great thing about Camino is it shows it very cleanly. You may remember in the Orca tutorial, how I basically had to look on chain to work out what my profit and loss was. Whereas here, it's a lot cleaner. Okay, so let's jump into vaults just for the sake of just learning a little bit. Let's go with Sol and USDC. So we can see at the moment, the total fees APY, so annual percentage yield is 23%. Staking alone will get you about 7.5%. does have a lower risk, a much lower risk. And of course, there's no impairment loss, but maybe this is worth it as well. Typically, this can pump up to like 50% or more with additional rewards. However, we're in the bear market and it's not that high. We can also change some filters, sort by APY, and we can see the highest ones. Now, just keep in mind that Samo is a meme coin. So Samo and USDH, which is the Hubble stable coin. This pool, in my opinion, would be subjected to permanent loss. So I wouldn't play with a huge amount here, but you may do your research and decide differently. Same with this one here. Then we've got the Helium token and Mobile. I'm not even sure what Mobile is. Helium token and Solana. This is a pretty lucrative pool. We'll jump into that one shortly. Then we've got Marinade token and MSOL. I would say impairment loss here could be a little bit. RLB and Sol, once again, not a meme coin, but like a gambling coin, very volatile. Sol USDT, that's very, very high, that's good. MSOL USDC, that's good. Sol USDC, that's good as well. Stake Sol USDC, good as well. I say this is good as my opinion, of course. Bonk and Sol, so Bonk is the number one meme coin on Solana. This is a little low, but I think it's decent. It's able to be pumped up a little bit further as soon as a lot more trading happens on Bonk, but when that happens, we don't know. Anyway, let's just dive in. Let's just work out how it all happens. These are the ones we can, of course, choose from. We can also change it via blue chip, stables, soul, ecosystem, etc. We'll go to soul. Not high enough for me to really jump in. Nothing really around the 3% I, I personally wouldn't go into. But that's just my personal opinion. Stablecoin, that's pretty juicy, but most of that comes from Radium. So we'll just go to blue chip and let's go with, let's do a shout out to MSOL and USDC because they're a great protocol. We can see the TVL, the fees, and the seven day volume. So we'll jump into this one here. We can deposit just USDC. We can do a single sided deposit or we can untick this. And if we had MSOL, we could put it in as well, but I've only got USDC and a little bit of SOL. Let's just do something small, $40, $40 deposit. And here you just have to click, you're aware of impairment loss. You've read the protocol documentation. You can click on these. These are very good and very fast things. I confirm complete deposit and confirm in our wallet. So what does this mean? So our $40 has lost three cents due to the fact that a little bit was converted into MSOL, but that's not too bad. And by not too bad, I mean, you could literally spend $40 on gas on the Ethereum network just to do a swap. So it's good. So we have what we can see down here, the position range. So at the moment, the price of MSOL is $22. And the reason why MSOL is more expensive than SOL is because it accrues its staking rewards into the token. So it's been going for a couple of years. The price of SOL is probably $20, $19, $70, something like that. And MSOL is therefore a little bit higher than that. 
What we can see here is we will trade all the way down to $11.86 if it gets that low and all the way up to $35. Now the team at Camino may rebalance the vault because their goal is to get more trading fees. You can see the deposit fee is nothing. The withdrawal fee is 0.1% and the performance fee is 9.5%. This fee is taken from the fees and rewards earned by the strategy. Nothing to do with the initial investment, okay? So as an example, if you're expecting to earn 100% returns, then they would take 9.5 and you'd be left with 91.5%. So that's kind of how it looks like. Don't think of it in terms of 20% returns and they're taking almost half of that. They're only taking just under 10%. So if it was 20%, you'd be making just over 18%. And the reason why they do this is because, of course, they're a protocol. They, of course, need to make some money. But they're doing everything for you. They're doing everything for you. They're just giving you this nice, clean UI. And of course, there's other stuff such as Vault Analytics, Price and Rebalancing Parameters, the APY and Fees, how it looks, all of this good stuff, which you can just look through if you like. But really, all I'm really keen for is to earn a little bit of yield, a little bit more than staking. But as I mentioned, most of my soul goes into staking. So that's the first vault. Let's go back to the other vaults and let's do something a little bit more degenerate. So we go with ecosystem. I don't do anything crazy here. Now, as we can see here, it's 66.17% APY. That's a great yield. However, there is some high sell pressure. The reason I say there is high sell pressure is 40% of the rewards are literally coming from the token being given by the company or by the team. Now that's certainly normal. That's completely normal. However, it can mean there's a little bit of a downtrend with the HNT token, but I do think Helium has some very, very good tech and I think it's worth having a little bit of a play with. At the very least, it's a tutorial. These things will change week to week or month to month, or when it comes to the bull market, it's definitely going to be crazy. Okay, so let's go up to Phantom and I'm still in the older tutorial, so that's my mistake there. Let's jump into DeFi as we should. Let's take some USD coin, we'll click on it and we'll just go swap and we'll go USDC and we'll get a little bit of HNT. Nothing too crazy, maybe $30 worth. $30, swap that, great. And let's get a little bit more soul as well. Maybe just like $20 worth. Swap that. Now we're not gonna do single-sided and we need to change our wallet. So let's just disconnect. Okay, so let's reconnect our wallet, connect, phantom, we're connected. Let's change this from single-sided deposit and let's do all of our helium, which is 0.55. Now you can see here, it's $30 worth of helium and $10.88 worth of soul. It's not always gonna be 50-50. In fact, it just depends on the trading range. Now this position range, they've decided it for you. Currently, this is the price. It's quite close to the low point. If it goes higher, you'll still be within the range. However, at the same time, it can alter it for you. They can alter the range for you. So we'll just deposit it in and confirm. And now we're earning yield. Now how this works and how it's different from Orca is they get the reward. So as an example, you're getting paid mostly in helium tokens. You are getting some trading fees. These helium tokens are credited to you in a sense. And Community Finance has access to basically the account that you've created. Just the account. The account take up things out of your wallet or anything like that. But this particular DeFi position, they can take the Helium tokens and then they can split it. So they'll split it into maybe a little bit of soul and more Helium tokens, and then it gets redeposited into the protocol. So that's how it works. If you're using something else with say Radium rewards, like this one here, this earns 3.62% in Radium tokens. Now these tokens, they're not part of the soul or USDC that we need, and we're not gonna accumulate them. So these will just be sold on the market for some USDC or soul or combination of both, and then it'll be redeposited into your position. That's how that works. Now, if we go up to my portfolio this time, we can see we've got this one position here. Remember the other position that I did by mistake was on this old, older tutorial wallet down here. So that's good. That's doing what it should do. Let's do one more. Let's do some Samo and Sol. I'm only just gonna do a small amount here. I'm just doing it simply because it's a meme coin and you know, I have to teach you about meme coins as well. We're just gonna go with like 0.4, so not very much. Single side deposit, we'll deposit it in here. Confirm, and here we've got $7.80 worth of this position. And these are our LP tokens, our liquidity provider tokens. So we can jump into our portfolio now and we've got these two positions. 
We're gonna leave them here for a little bit and we'll see how they grow. Now there's one more thing that I wanna show you. Let's go back to vaults. Let's go to create a vault. Now this is in beta, but this is where you can do your own vault. So as an example, I want some USDC and I'm gonna go and pair it with Nana. Now I have to select the vault fee. So what am I charging people to swap in and out of? The best thing to do would be to work out what is the vault fee on Orca because we want to be competitive, right? So we'll go to Orca, we'll have a look at liquidity and let's see if we can find something with Nana, Nana token there and which one's accumulating the most amount of fees. And you know, also which has the most amount of liquidity. So this one and this one, we can see that this is actually a lot less liquidity, but it's pulling in a lot more fees because there's a lot more volume, Nana and Sol. I would sometimes prefer to keep it with USDC. However, it doesn't look like there's anything with just USDC and Nana that has a huge amount of fees like this. This is not enough. This is the highest amount, which is good. And they're not getting any additional yield. You know, they're not being given Nana or anything by the community team wallet or anything like that. This one here is pretty decent though, 0.418. I do wonder if there's a little bit of impairment loss here as well. You know what, let's go with Coco and Nana. Let's just have a little bit of fun. So we'll go with Nana and Coco. These two tokens, they're part of the Play the Heist team. And we need to make sure that our vault fee is the same as what it is over here. So 1%, either the same or lower. Then we can choose the initial range. Now, because what we're doing here is we're basically, we're choosing everything ourselves. We can maximize the trading fee capture, or we can go with this one. If you think the nano price is gonna to go to a particular level, then you may wanna go with this. But for the sake of this, I'm just gonna go like this. Now, if we go narrow, medium, wide, or custom, this will just depend on your kind of skill and understanding of what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna go with narrow. If it goes out of this range, then it won't trade. We can, of course, widen it a little bit, and then we can see basically how much of each we're going to put in. We'll go with create vault. We'll start, confirm. Confirm again. We can do a single sided deposit because I have none of these tokens. So what I might just quickly do is nip up to Phantom and I'll take a little bit of this USD coin and I'll go and swap it into some Nana. Maybe just like $60 and swap. We'll cover this more throughout the course, but if there's a meme coin that you really think has huge pump value, then it's not a good idea necessarily to go and put it into this kind of protocol because the impairment loss will be too great. Let's go, let's put it all in there. $60, deposit and confirm. And we've put in the deposit. We still have 17 cents here. It clearly didn't uh, take it all, but it took the fast majority. If we have a look at my portfolio, we can see we've got this creative vault. So we'll let these vaults sit. And in a few weeks time, we'll see how they did in terms of profit and loss. However, in the next tutorial, I will withdraw a little bit just so you can see how you can actually withdraw if you want to. But I'm definitely keen for you to learn about DeFi. So keep at it. This stuff is gold, golden information. Stay curious and we'll catch you in the next video.